Hey guys, today we're going to change the fuel pump in this uh, 97 Oldsmobile Aurora with the 4 liter North Star V8. If this video is helpful, can you just smash that thumbs up button? really helps me out a lot. Alright, I'm already a little bit into it here. Um, you're going to need to remove the plastic trim that's here, um, the little material covers that are in the corners. Um, and right right here there's also the plastic cover that's there um, you just pop all these little plastic pieces out little snaps um, until you just have this floor here and then you can pull this back and there's our access door so that is step number one so I'm going to take this out and we'll have uh, better access to that door. All right, now you're gonna take out each of these bolts. They are seven millimeter, at least that's what I'm using. All right, then this has like a foam seal. You're probably gonna have to stick a screwdriver or something in there and pry it up, just kind of work around. Pops up, there's your fuel pump. All right, now to get this plug undone, you have to pull out this thing which is a lot, you're gonna have to like put some needle nodes or something on there to pry that thing out. But um, then you push this back, kind of wiggle, connector comes off. All right, and to get these lines out, uh, what you need to do is pinch these together till they click. Like that, and then you can pull these off. go all right now normally at this point you would twist this thing off but we're dealing with some real life here this is Michigan for you yeah gotta love that salt so normally you would just there's like some tabs that stick up here um, and some fingers that kind of like come around the tab and you would take like a screwdriver or something and a hammer and pound it that way so that this twists off and then you can pull this out. Okay, so I thought we were done, um, but it turns out GM doesn't make this style connector anymore. And they went to this four pin flat blade or flat, whatever, this new style connector. So you ha you're going to have to cut some wires and rewire this. Um, I couldn't find this, so I am making special effort here. Uh, so this is what you are going to want to do. Um, your gray wire is going to go to this whitish color, tan, whatever the ages have turned this color to be. The black wire is going to go to this black wire. These are your fuel pump, the black and the gray. Uh, black is ground, gray is your hot. And then these, the purple and the orange, are your sending unit, so your gas gauge. And those sit in there like that. The orange is your ground, the purple is your hot. Um, I've just got these stick, stuck in here because I was testing it. Uh, but I started the car right up and it started right up like this. The gas gauge was working correctly. Um, so hopefully that helps you out. So you've got, we'll pull these out and uh, go over it again. You're gonna have your gray wire go into this farthest cor topmost corner here on the left. Your black wire is gonna go into the top rightmost uh, plug here. And then your purple is gonna be this one in the middle bottom and the orange black wire here is gonna be your bottom right corner. Um, and this is with the clip oriented on the left. So I hope this was helpful for you. Um, you're gonna have to cut and you know solder or butt connector or whatever your choice of wire connection is. But if this video is helpful, can you just hit that thumbs up button? Really helps me out a lot. Um, Oh, and uh, if you wanted to see what I did to hold the fuel pump down, 
just took some uh, pole bar and steel screws and uh, really had to push to get them to bite in and actually drill through but I got three of them in there and this thing is not going anywhere new gasket in there should hold for a good long time these screws shouldn't leak so I'm pretty happy with that fix but anyway hopefully you found this helpful and uh, smash that thumbs up button if you did